To begin with, let's take a look at b -Bron and what it does. The question, what is the product, is more than a guessing game about what specific bits of bent metal are for. Ask yourself whether b -Bron are offering a product, or rather, a catalogue of 24,000 products, or a service. I think there are quite three distinct uh, markets that we have to serve as far as the supply chain goes. Um, on the OPM side, which is the outpatient market, we're dealing with um, generally a more elderly population at home that needs some very um, personal products delivered to them in quite sensitive and urgent circumstances at times. Uh, so you're talking about very small parcels being delivered to their home that are very uh, particular to them. At the other end of the spectrum, on the hospital care side, where we're looking at quite high volumes of thousands and thousands of syringes and needles. You're looking at forklift truck fulls of wagon fulls of product going into NHS depots around the UK. Uh, and then sort of sitting in between those is the Escalap division, which is um, high precision manufactured surgical instruments and prosthesis such as hips and knees, which have um, a potential urgency about them in terms of being delivered them for set operations. But other times it's also more routine or long term uh, kitting out a new operating theatre. So you've got a mixture there of lots of small parcels going out on a day to day basis, but some of them are absolutely very, very time critical. They may have a patient precisely waiting for that instrument at that precise moment in the hospital for you to, to get it down. So quite a diverse range of opportunities uh, that we have to apply ourselves to on a, on a pretty routine basis. But product or service? Let's begin with the product. This selection of instruments here is basically dealing with uh, obstetrics uh, and urology, and also, uh, obviously, uh, gynaecology. Um, looking at the obstetric instrumentation here, this is a delivery forcep uh, for easing the baby's head down the birth canal if they're having a problem with, with a delivery. This, again, does come into two parts. A, for manufacture, it's easier, and also it's easy for cleaning uh, in the hospital scenario. Then we have two different, if you like, um, umbilical scissors. Uh, this again has got a flat surface so that you can cut the umbilicus close up against the uh, abdomen of the, of the baby. And then this, known as a stabler scissor, another, if you like, variation on this has got a, a thickened end at the bottom so that the cord will sit on there and it will just sort of scissor through like that. Here we have a mixture of scissors and needle holders. Obviously scissors we all know about. Needle holders are for, uh, for stitching up patients. But one of the first things you notice is that some of the instruments have gold handles. Others have a plain handle. The gold handle denotes tungsten carbide, which obviously is a, is a hard substance, and we line the inside of the instrument with the tungsten carbide, which gives it obviously longevity, but also as the instrument wears, you can in fact replace these inserts, and so the instrument obviously is going to last much longer. We have lots of different instruments because depending on what you're operating on, what part of the body you're operating on, or what age group of patient, size may differ. And it's like my colleagues who are hand surgeons, if they're doing fine osteotomies of the fingers, then their hammer, like a toffee hammer, if I'm trying to knock out an implant from the hip, then I want a five pound hammer. So that's where the difference. And we have on our shelves the heavy kit and the light kit and obviously use the, the fine instruments, the fine jobs, and the heavy instrumentation for the heavy jobs. As well as making instruments, b Braun also make the instrument containers. That's something that we'll come back to in the next section. But not everything that b Braun offers is manufactured out of surgical steel. We'll take a quick tour of some of the other products they offer. Our, um, our OPM uh, division, our outpatient market um, division, um, specialises in really individual care of the patients that are, are more based at home. Uh, a significant uh, number of these patients have had uh, uh, 
uh, intestinal surgery and have had a, a colostomy, um, uh, need colostomy appliances which, which we provide. Um, the nature of the surgery means that those are very, have to be very bespoke. Each patient's condition means they need a very different size of colostomy bag. None of them are standard. They're different size, different shape, um, and they are very much tailor-made to that, that individual. Um, so obviously the, for the patients, they can't do that themselves. We're talking about a very elderly population often. And so as part of an added value service, we provide a cutting service um, for that patient. We, we actually manage that patient's portfolio. We have their precise pattern. It's a bit like a, a dress pattern. We have their exact measurements. We have a, a, a tracing of it. And they can call us up, and we have their details on file. And we've very much developed a one-to-one -one partnership with that individual patient where they feel they can phone us up. And often we're chatting to them for quite a while on the phone. Often they're people that are living alone. Uh, and again, that's, that's, that's part of the service that we like to provide and our, our girls that operate that service are, are very empathetic and, and provide and enjoy providing that service to them. No matter what they want, we will get it them. When it's like August, September, um, when they're going abroad, we get bigger orders because they put like, like a three months order on instead of like your weekly orders. So you get like three amounts of what you would cut for that patient. Um, it's simply because if they're going abroad, um, sometimes it's the heat that can do some of the bags, or sometimes it's if they eat something wrong or they get an upset tummy. They have to have extra when they go on holiday um, and Christmas time for over the Christmas period, which is the same, you know, in case they get funny stomachs or they're away a long time. Anything that patient wants, that patient will get. You know, some might want ties on, clips, then they want it cut in as well. They'll get anything that they want, because that's how personal this one is. Here's another service. One of these hip joints is your size. The problem is that the surgeon doesn't know precisely which one until you're on the operating table. That's a bit late to put in an order. B. Braun offer a cost-effective solution their loan service. Yeah, basically what happens is, is um, because of the high cost of the kits that we do sell through Escalab itself, um, what we do is we run a loans department. Now, what happens is a hospital will ring up requesting a loan for a certain type of operation and because of the, obviously the NHS funds, they can't actually afford to buy a kit and all the sizes of the implants to go with the kits. So what we do is we send out the loan kits, which basically, as you can see, uh, all the Im instruments to put in the implants and a whole range of implants as well so they basically can open the patient up and put the implant in and hopefully it'll be a success. But this is actually a knee kit that's actually come in this morning from a hospital and it's actually got to go out actually today as well for a, a case that's happening next week. This is a total knee replacement set that's used very very frequently because obviously um, being such a good kit as well. Before the tray does go out what we'll do is a 100% check, supply a checklist to them so they can check it over again in the hospital and obviously sign the actual checklist to say it has been checked by one person in the loans department or two if need be. But again, it's a 100% check before it goes out to the customer. Typical week, we do around, it can be anything, around about 10, 10 loan sets now. And each set, there can, mean there can be a maximum of about seven trays on each loan set. So you're talking quite a few trays, really. But normally it's about 10 loan sets itself. We have an educational subsidiary, Esculap Academia, which is engaged upon providing um, courses of um, a very sophisticated nature, all the way through from um, dedicated courses for total hip replacement through to a more mundane course on care and maintenance of surgical instruments. These courses are all professionally organised by the government um, regulatory bodies and we work in close partnership with leading professorial units nationwide. Providing personal services, loans and education all costs money. What scope does B. Braun have to contribute to reducing the NHS's costs? The NHS are one of our biggest customers and of course like any customer they're pushing to drive costs down. But of course the regulations in our industry, the um, uh, the day-to-day -day cost elements of our business are always driving the costs up. 
and we're caught in the middle in production where we're having to at least hold prices or bring them down. But the bottom line is that they must always comply with the regulations. We cannot take any shortcuts whatsoever on quality assurance systems, quality control, to comply with the regulatory bodies. One of the unique features about the Escalop division is that it's able to provide all it takes to operate, from performing that initial incision to performing a surgical, surgical intervention of whatever nature, closing the wound, and then reprocessing those instruments through the hospital supply chain, we are quite unique in having such a diverse range of products to perform that all it takes to operate procedure. In its combination of products and services, healthcare presents us with an interestingly different case study of a supply chain. In the remainder of this video, we shall go on to look at it more closely. Thank you.